go. Uh, yeah, 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 fucking yeah. What'd you say? This contains brief nudity? What? <laughs> oh. Wait, 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 one of those words at the sale. Hold up, go back. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta reopen that one. Alright, that was not. That, that was a different warning. What the fuck was that? Brief hold up. Nudity. Uh, get DK ready? Uh, hold up. What? This mod contains brief scenes of censored nudity. Oh, oh. okay. Brief censored foul language or brief scenes of implied sexual activity. Okay. I I was uh, I was like that one was new. <laughs> That's a new warning. Okay. And I was like, okay, let's just, we're good. There we go. Everything's fine for now. Fucking ease. Censored foul language scandalous. Yeah. It's a TV. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? Zero here. And welcome to Doki Doki TV. The name of the mod That's now. What That's what it's called to me. It's, it's got a little TV on it. Look at it. Ooh. <laughs> right, welcome to Doki 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 Vision. Or is it just called Doki Vision? The window is called Doki 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 Vision. The logo says Doki Doki Doki, Doki, Doki Vision. Doki Doki Vision. I don't think uh, you thought about that. I was going to say, that just sounds... Uh, triple the Doki, triple the fun. So, <laughs> so this is a mod. Uh, from what the syn synopsis read, it is literally a mod about Sayori and MC watching TV. So yeah, it's kind of short, I think, but it should be fun. So let's let's let's, let's play that show. Let, let, let's do it. She agreed to the contract and she became your girlfriend. Read the check. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's really coming down out there. Ah, uh, I guess walking downtown for dinner and then an evening stroll through the park is out of the question. Very size. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's been a rainy day for me. It's been a rainy day for me all day after all. I couldn't even really look forward to this date. I give Sayori a gentle hug. I'm sorry, Bun. It is what it is. I don't know why it's just funny hearing Sayori say it is what it is. <laughs> hey, Fun. I bet we order some. That's what they. That's what they always make the MCs say to Sayori. Come on, Bun. I just found that weird. It is a little weird. <laughs> it's a little odd. You can but, have your cute couple nicknames, but I mean. It's because it's the whole cinnamon <laughs> bun thing. So yeah, so they're like Bun. Come on, Bun. bun. Come on, hun. It's like when you say hun, but that's like a dad thing. Come on, hun. It feels like he's like. I feel like it would work better if he was talking to like his daughter. Daughter, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna order some food and have a chill TV night. No question mark reported. I guess. Yeah, it'll be nice. Yeah. You know, my dad says the couples that can enjoy spending time together doing nothing are the ones that stay together. Your dad, who's divorced? <laughs> well, to be fair, he said that after the divorce. Might have had something to do with it. You know my mom is, with work and all. Yeah. Alright, so it sounds good for dinner. Anything's fine, I guess. Alright, I'll go order. You find us something to watch. Sayori, tell me what's wrong, bun! <laughs> why, do you, why do you capitalize bun like that, Polaris? Come on, bun! What's wrong? <laughs> Food's ordered. Okay. I answer the remote. Anything good on? Sayori, that's why I handed you the remote. Please pick what's on TV. <laughs> no clue. Why not flip around until you find something? Alright then, let's see what's on. Now it is TV time. Ah! <laughs> good evening. Good. E uh, I cannot talk. Uh, why am I on TV? I can't even speak. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Whose Doki Is It Anyway? On tonight's show, 
The sweet taste of cinnamon. Sayori he he Hirazawa. Chocolate and mint. Zero Ishigami. Bubblegum cotton candy. Natsuki Asaka. And grape cough syrup. Hiroshima. And I'm your host, Monica Suzumiya. Come on down. Let's have some fun. Thank you very much, and welcome to Who's Doki Is It Anyway? The show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. That's right, the points are just like what route you choose in the base game. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> Again, like we said before, but chat, but YouTube didn't know, but chat, you've heard me say it before, I wish that skit went on for longer. <laughs> <laughs> that skit ended so, I feel like you could have done more with that. So he looks over Natsuki sleeping in a hospital bed. Sparse medical equipment sticks out of the small girl, but otherwise, almost no visible injuries are present. A knock is heard on the door, and Dr. Monica enters. How is she, Doc? Does her fucking breast say Monica? <laughs> That's not even a name tag! <laughs> it's just Monica written on her breast! Goat. <laughs> <laughs> it just says Monica, like, right on her fucking coat, just written in fucking red pen. <laughs> F-tier mod. F-tier mod. Couldn't even afford a coat. <laughs> Not good. As you can see, that car crashed after quite mangled. Her brain has suffered severe damage. The surgery this afternoon will be paramount to her recovery. Her growth has also been very stunted. No, she was like that before. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. I have complete faith in you. Well, not to brag, but I am one of the best neurosurgeons in the world. But never mind that now. Detective Yuri would like to talk to you. Detective Yuri enters the room. Hello, Sayori. Any new leads on any new leads on leads on who kidnapped Zero? Not directly, but we believe what happened to Natsuki might be related. What do you mean? What happened to Natsuki was an accident! Perhaps not. When we investigated the scene, we discovered... A pause occurs in dramatic effect. The car's brake line had been cut. Sir and Monica gasp in reaction. <gasps> <gasps> we think whoever targeted Zero may have also targeted Natsuki. That's quite a bit to take in. Let the police worry about it. You have an operation to prepare for. Also, why is Detective Yuri just wearing a sweater? <laughs> Detective Yuri is very casual while she's on the job. <laughs> You're right. I think I'm going to get some air. Monica heads to the roof of the building. This is all such a mess. I know Mr. Asaka must be involved somehow. But why would he use his mob connections to go after his own daughter? As Monica ponders, a shadowy figure appears behind her. They reach out their hand, pushing Monica. Whoa! Whoa! Monica falls off the roof. Ah! Next time on All My Dokies. Hello. With Monica in a coma, the only one who can complete Natsuki's surgery is Monica's evil twin. Where's the star diamond? Is he just- <laughs> This is the PNG of a rope! <laughs> yeah. That works. Yeah. It's just the square of a rope. I didn't know they had rope squares. Wait, it was you? But why? Doki tape. The super strong adhesive tape. That even works underwater. To show you the power of Doki Tape, I just sawed this boat in half! <laughs> they didn't even keep the best part. <laughs> Monica, I hear you opening your wrapper, can you not? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're that person when people are watching a movie and they just hear you opening your snacks! <laughs> I cannot quietly open a snack. You can mute! <laughs> you can't mute in real life! Ow, you're so loud! Oh, now I'm loud. 
<laughs> <laughs> what do you mean now <laughs> you're loud? <laughs> I hate you. Fucking guy complains about anything he can think of. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Monica the Aware? No. I thought not. It's not a story the Doki would tell you. Wait, so if the Doki are the Jedi, why are there only four of them? <laughs> That's not a very big council. It's a modder's legend. Darth Monica was a dark lord of the modders, so powerful and so aware she could use the dark side of the code to influence the scripts to create life. She had such a knowledge of the dark side, she could even keep the one she cared about from dying. She could actually save people from death? The dark side of the code is the pathway to many console commands that some consider to be unnatural. What happened to her? She became so aware that the only thing she feared was losing her awareness. Which, eventually, of course she did. Unfortunately, she taught her apprentice everything she knew. And then her Am apprentice actually... deleted her in her sleep. Every time you talk, my thing goes. Yeah, I, you. I was kind of echoing through you. So you have to turn me down. <laughs> I. I mean, you are turned down. I don't know. Like, if I turn you down even more, I'm not gonna be able to hear you. I don't know then. You're being weird. It's weird. Look at your. Look at your voice yes. settings. Ironic. She can save others from death, but not herself. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a doki. Wait a moment. Hmm? The modders are a secretive hidden, and hidden organization, right? Yes. And information about them is very scarce around the simulation, yes? Correct. So how do you know all this? Uh, um, look! Sand! <laughs> he returns and prepares to hide from the evil of, of small rocks as Chancellor Sayori runs away. There we go. Now we're back to where we were. Now the rest of this is new. <laughs> there we go. Not much on. What do you mean, not much on? I wanted to watch Who's Doki Is It Anyway? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the thing with TV. It's total crapshoot as to whether anything that's both good and something you would want to watch is on. Probably most people just stream stuff now. But hey, we can keep looking. Yeah. The doorbell rings. Food must be here. I'll get it. I gently open the door. Pizza time! The girl before me is carrying eight boxes of pizza and seems to have some sort of black and green cloth hanging from her pocket. Perhaps a spare change of clothes? <laughs> I opt to ignore her strange pocket outfit, focusing instead on my clock. You're late! I'm not paying for those! She leaves the eight pizzas and dejectedly walks off into the night. Eight pizzas? Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, don't promise That's you can lot. deliver in 29 minutes if you can't. Food's there. Cool! We set up and start eating dinner and go back to flipping through TV channels. Oh, there. Oh, we're not done with the TV channels. Okay, cool. Who made this? I did, Chef. It's raw! This is a pathetic excuse for a meal. And where's the lamb sauce? What are you, an idiot? Uh, beep, you stupid, you donkey. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be beeped. <laughs> They're on TV, they can't say that. <laughs> yeah, she can't say the fuck word on television. You did miss a key ingredient necessary to make this dish work. Uh oh. But the flavors you build are quite impressive. If you keep working at it, you're destined to become a great chef. Thank you, chef. A little Yuri. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> I solved this commercial in half. <laughs> yeah, cool, it is looking cool, Morgana. That was clever. They brought it back. Oh. Oh my God, they brought it back. <laughs> By having Monica solve the commercial. That was that was clever. I wonder how that would work when, uh, if you were actually there. Uh, I don't think you can. <laughs> <laughs> Doki tape is so strong, it can even repair tears in the space-time continuum. And the seal it forms is super strong and watertight. That's some pretty good tape. We set up ecto spectrum spectro 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 spectrometers, Jesus, <laughs> around the home so we can listen in. Oh my god, ghost hunting.
Gah! Did you hear that? <laughs> it clearly said, leave this place. This is definite proof of a ghostly presence. Communicating with the dead is all about respect. We've got to let them know that we're here and we want to hear them. Hey, you beep or beep! <laughs> Come out! I ain't scared of your spooky asses! <laughs> the Natsuki didn't leave that house that night. I oh, don't God. exactly like having to eat random lizards and bugs we catch, being vegetarian and all. But out here, you have to do what you can to survive. Oh my god, I know what this is parrying. Yeah, it's naked, and my it's, mom... it's, it's naked and afraid. Yeah, my mom watches. His mom's been watching this a lot. I'm getting worried about Natsuki, though. Here, you have to eat. Not again. Is Natsuki a charred lizard? Why, why does she just say, oh, did, did, Natsuki didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. You have to keep your energy up. I know I have to eat, but I'm just getting sick of it. We should catch a fish or something. Monica and Natsuki are sitting around a campfire, eating, when suddenly... Well. Not good. She's going to lose more energy and get more dehydrated. Gotta find clean water and a decent meal soon, or we won't last down here. Um, why am I watching people running around in the wilderness naked? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That's what, I, that's what I said when I walked into my mom's room and saw her watching that. I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> oh yeah, this is that nude and frightened show. They drop a couple of strangers in the middle of nowhere with no clothes or supplies, and they have to try and survive for like a week or something. Why? <laughs> There's a cash prize or something. Plus, some people like the challenge, I guess. People are weird. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> hey, I think there's some anime on. Wanna watch that? If you want. If you want. Uh-oh. Anime. Oh. Here's some anime references. Let's go. Morning, Sayori. Morning. Just then, Nasi comes flying through the air, dive kicking zero. Whoop! Hey, dummy, just wanted to see if you wanted to have lunch with me today. I mean, not that I want to eat lunch with you or anything, but like, I figure you'll have more tr you'll have trouble feeding yourself, so I guess I can put up with your gross ass and help or whatever. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get to class. <laughs> Later. No, and hi, Sayori. <laughs> Nasi runs off to class. Aw, I think she likes you. <laughs> <laughs> I think she broke my spine! <laughs> <laughs> One day, Zero was walking down the street when suddenly... Oh no, it's Chakun! Oh no! <laughs> ah! It's an isekai! What's he being sent to? Awaken, hero. Huh? <laughs> Where am I? In the afterlife. I died? Yes, but despair not, Zero. You have been chosen to be sent to another world. This world is ravaged by the Demon King, but now you will be a hero and save the world from darkness and destruction. And get a harem of girls? Most likely. Alright, sign me up! Your adventure awaits. Alright, time to start my adventure. There are spots a group of slimes nearby. Looks like some free early XP. Zero draws a weapon and attacks the slimes. Ah! He is then mauled by the slimes, as he has no weapon training or combat knowledge of any kind. Poof! <laughs> huh. Perhaps this wasn't the best idea after all. <laughs> my depression kept me from enjoying things like walks in the park or TV nights with my boyfriend. But then I found Dokumin! <laughs> Dokumin is an antidepressant for the treatment of some forms of depressions. Side effects Sorry. may include headache, dry mouth, weight gain, dizziness, suicidal thoughts or actions, self-destructive actions, spontaneous loss of eyes, floating eye syndrome, spontaneous neck breaking, delusions about the nature, realizations, the complete complexity of reality, total deletion from this place, a power trip that results in complete end of reality, and stomach aches. I'm so glad I found Dokumin. So the Ask antidepressant makes you want to kill yourself. I don't know if Ask, your doc Ask your doctor if Dokumin is right for you. <laughs> yeah, because it's the fucking <laughs> thing where they'll like tell you to take all these fucking vitamins and then like all these side effects are like way worse than what yeah. you fucking have. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, this can only be... What? MC, quick, 
How strong are you? I feel like I could fight a bear now. What? That's ridiculous. And why did you call him MC and not Zero just then? <laughs> Yuri, how rich are you? I've got most of the budget. Is that a lot of money? <laughs> oh no! Oh. Sayori, your feminine appeal? I'm not quite sure. What do you think, Yuri? Oh no, even I can't help but fall for her. <laughs> this can only mean one thing. What? It does seem it's happened. What? Really? It was only a matter of time. Would someone tell me what's going on already? We're in. Also dramatic effect. <laughs> a Chronicles of the Going Home Club parody segment. What? That's so random. Why would anyone reference such an obscure gag anime? Because that show's main character is also named Natsuki, just like you. <laughs> well, that's the dumbest reason for a gag parody reference scene ever. <laughs> why am I, Why am I enjoying this more than I gently open the door? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It, it just feels less shit posty. <laughs> It's funny. Yuri sits out by the lake. She has, a, she has set up a tent and is now reading her book. Reading. 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 <laughs> what is this show? This <laughs> is <just> Yuri reading. <laughs> is this a show about Yuri reading? <laughs> yeah. It's all you need. Oh yeah, Natsuki told me about this. This is that camping anime. It's just camping? <laughs> Mostly. It's a slice of life. It's apparently really good. Ooh. <laughs> That's just Yuri reading. <laughs> it's Yuri reading. Do I need? Zero and Sayori proceed to watch the whole episode. They enjoy it quite a lot. That was pretty good. Very relaxing. Yeah, it was. Comfy. Yeah, very comfy. Oh no, she's no way the way she said she was like, yeah, it was comfy. Yeah, very comfy. Well, let's see what else is on. Okay. We're tracking the storm as it continues to ramp up. There's some concern about an area behind me as we're starting to notice a rotation feature appear on the radar. Let me just show you- MONICA! MONICA! I've got something on the ground! Okay, could we cut to Natsuki's feed? Yeah, we've definitely got a tornado. I'm right on its ass! Okay, thanks. Stay on it, Natsuki. I'm going to try and get up ahead of it and get a better shot. Right. Well, while she does that, I'll remind everyone of standard tornado procedure. Please take all safety precautions while- Oh no! So, I'm walking down the street. You're walking. And I see Zero. So I give a little curi curiously wave. You know, as you do. Sure. And he completely ignores me. He just blows me off. No. No, no, she's like, no. It's unbelievable. It cannot be believed. I mean, who does that? Would you do that? I might do that. <laughs> oh, you do that? I might, depending on the person. Like who? Well, you, for example. <laughs> Yuri approaches the table, practically crashing into it to sit down. <laughs> okay, listen to this. <laughs> she pauses for emphasis. Vintage rubber ducks. Vintage rubber ducks? Vintage rubber ducks. It's the next big collector's market, Moni. And you're doing what with these ducks, exactly? I'm selling them. How are you going to sell vintage rubber ducks? Oh, I'll sell them. <laughs> Sorry, then walks in, throwing her bag down and sitting with a huff. I am having the worst week. Hey, Sayori. I said hi to your friend Zero earlier and he completely blew me off. Good for him. <laughs> Mani, you've got to help me. I've got to get out of this thing with Kazuto. I told you not to get involved with him. I know, but when I started, he was so dreamy. But now I realize what a loser he is. <laughs> what do I do? Sayori, you think vintage rubber ducks is a good idea, right? 
vintage rubber ducks. <laughs> She's onto something. Yuri, I have too many problems of my own to deal with. You're crazy right now. <laughs> well, I'm sure this will all work itself out somehow. How? How will this work itself out? Probably through some series of ridiculous interconnecting coincidences. Is that one of your observations? As a matter of fact, it is. Was that so, Monica? <laughs> I don't know what that was trying to parody. Yeah. Oh, no. She, well, no, she said by a bunch of coincidences because they're on a sitcom. So it's like... <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's like, somehow everything's just going to work out in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? You're walking down the street when suddenly. Give me your money, punk! Ah! Well, now there's a solution. Introducing Knife! <laughs> the perfect solution to all of life's problems. Now this. Becomes this. Give me your money, punk! No, you give me your money, punk! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Knife is also perfect for cutting a vegetable, opening a can, and as a perfect conversation starter. Give me your attention, punk! <laughs> ah! Yes, you can get the amazing knife for only 5,999 yen. A call within the next seven minutes, or throw in a second knife absolutely free. Just pay separate shipping, processing, and handling. That's right, knife, the perfect solution to all of life's problems. Order your knife, call. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh no. Oh, Sayori. Oh, Zero. Oh. Uh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, quickly turns off the TV. <laughs> Zero, <laughs> why would you watch that kind of channel? I don't. I don't even pay for that channel. At least I don't think I do. <laughs> But I definitely don't want to watch it. I definitely don't watch it. I guess it makes sense. I'm not exactly the greatest girlfriend in the world. Sayori, you know that that has nothing to do with being a good girlfriend. Nor are you a bad girlfriend. And I'm so scatterbrained. My thoughts are like us flipping through all those channels some days. There's no way you could love someone like me. Sayori, that's your depression talking. Deep down in your subconscious, you know for a fact I love you. You not believing it, or not believing you're worthy of it, is just your depression talking. And you know it's lying to you. Really? Yes, really. I love you, Sayori. And I love you, Zero. And I hug before I lean in and gently kiss her. Feeling any better? Yeah, I am. Hey. Yeah? Wanna have sex? Sure! Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro! <laughs> there they go! Oh no! Oh no, you have to read it! Oh, oh no, God. now I gotta read it again! <laughs> no! That was... no. Oh, Sayori. Oh, Zero. Oh! Uh... Sayori. Zero. Sayori. Zero! <laughs> Sayori, Sayori! Wake <laughs> up, dummy! <laughs> <laughs> She's dreaming! Sayori <laughs> uh. groggily comes to. Huh? Where am I? My room! I fell asleep watching the movie last night. So I put you in bed. So you slept? I slept on the couch last night. <laughs> oh, that's... Um... <laughs> No big deal. Couch is pretty nice, so I was comfortable. Yeah, good. Sorry to wake you. Sounds like you were having a nice dream. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Jerry gives a small smile. Hey, Zero. Yeah? I know I'm not the best at saying it, but I love you. And I know you love me too. I really do, but what brought this on? Oh, nothing. Looks like it's going to be a sunny day today. Yeah, the weather's supposed to be nice for the whole rest of the week. Jerry giggles. That's nice, but not what I meant. Oh, well, I'm glad. Me too. It's all because I've got my sunshine with me. Sorry, plants a quick peck on my cheek. I can't help but blush a little. 
So you're not mad I woke you up? I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> we both giggle at our little inside joke. Well then, let's get some breakfast. Aw, that was cute. For a second, for a second, I was like, oh no, this mod's gotten into shitpost territory, but they fixed it. That was cute. <laughs> the, the, the mod fixed itself. That was cute. See, see, that was actually a cute little mod. I liked that. That, that was, because like, it didn't feel as much as this. It's funny how I played like two mods back to back. They were both like comedy mods, but like my opinions on this one is like different. <laughs> like, I feel like this mod was way less of like, there's actual jokes written in, <laughs> you know, like there's actually was writing there to be like, like there was a punchline to all of those besides just being, you know, random is comedy. <laughs> And yeah, sometimes you can have randomness be your punchline. My only problem is when that's the only punchline. <laughs> or like a majority of the time that's the punchline. Like there was actually some writing there. There was a lot of parody for actual TV. So I thought that was actually like decently clever and kind of cute. And the ending part, like I said, unlike like I said with I gently open the door, this mod kind of felt like it warranted its ending thing because it had little breaks to show MC talking to Sayori. So this kind of reminds you, oh yeah, they are just watching TV. So it's like, I feel like it kind of earned its, like, happy little wholesome ending. More so than I gently opened the door did. Like, this is actually a pretty good mod. I, I enjoyed this. This was, th th this was, this was good. I liked it. So I really was down bad at the end. I think she just, she just had a wet dream. She was just having a wet dream. But anyway, uh, that is it. Hope you all enjoyed. If you want to play this for yourself, the link's in the description down below. And yeah, this has been Zero. Peace. I'm a chef, chef to me.